Hey growers, today I'm testing the Sun System AC DE reflector. AC stands for air cool, DE stands for double ended. Now, this reflector is designed specifically to run a double ended 1000 watt HBS lamp, the most intense grow light on the market. It's also the most efficient in terms of PAR output per watt. So what am I actually testing today? Well, I wanted to compare the PAR output of this Digimax 1000 watt DE lamp and this AC DE reflector with no fan blowing air through it. This lamp is already run in for well over 100 hours. Then I'm going to connect the reflector to an 8 inch hyperfan running at 35% power to see if the PAR drops. Finally, I turn up the hyperfan to 100% power or 710 CFMs and measure the PAR again. I'll also take some temperature readings of the reflector itself. Now, you can buy open or closed air cooled reflectors to run DE lamps. This is obviously a closed air-cooled type. But what's unique about this reflector is the sealed optic chamber. Instead of passing air directly over the lamp, there's a separate cooling chamber above it. Hopefully, you can see what I mean. Now, why is this important? Well, the outer jackets of DE lamps are filled with nitrogen gas, a poor insulator, whereas a single-ended lamp operates within a vacuum, a very good insulator. Blowing air directly over a DE lamp is a big no-no. You run a very high risk of cooling it below the proper operating temperature, altering the intended spectrum, lowering PAR output, and taxing both the lamp and your electronic ballast as it tries to compensate. So, how does ACDE perform? Does it still remove significant amounts of heat from your grow room without cooling the lamp itself? Well, that's what I want to find out. It took a few tries to design this experiment right. At first, I simply hung the reflector near my existing 8-inch air input hole, no pun intended, but when I switched on the fan, the air pressure in the ducting moved the reflector slightly, messing up the accuracy of my PAR ratings. Eventually, I opted for this. I set the reflector on top of a fast-fit tray stand, with the lamp itself just under 30 inches above the floor. This distance was fairly arbitrary. I just wanted to keep all variables other than the fan speed the same. I drew a 9-point grid over 4 square feet directly beneath the lamp. Now this lamp can cover up to 25 square feet of growth space when hung 3 feet above the plant canopy, but I figured the higher PAR temperatures achievable at a closer range would reveal any differences more noticeably. This funny looking homemade contraption is a shot glass with the PAR meter sensor taped to it, bringing our lamp sensor distance down to around 28 inches. I made this to help me measure the PAR at each point on my grid more accurately. It also ensures that the sensor itself is being held at the same angle each time, as just a few degrees tilt either way has a big effect on the reading. The lamp is is being driven by a Galaxy Grow Amp 1000 watt ballast connected to my trusty Helio 7 lighting controller. Let's plug her in and spin the dial. BAM! Look at that! She's on already! I'll let her warm up for half an hour and take the readings with no air cooling. Then, after running the 8-inch hyperfan at 35% speed for 20 minutes, then after running 100% for 20 minutes. The results? With no air cooling, the average PAR reading was 1,158 micromoles. At 35% fan speed, the average PAR reading was the same, 1,158 micromoles. And at 100%, it was still 1,158 micromoles. Bam, bam, bam! Strangely, the individual point measurements were slightly different, but they all averaged out about the same. So, my first conclusion? Running a fan with the ACDE reflector has no measurable effect on PAR output. You heard it here. That's impressive, as I was expecting some drop, but it's only really impressive if we are still removing heat from the fixture itself. Now, when I run at the recommended 100% fan speed, the fixture was around 43 degrees Celsius, and that's around 109 degrees Fahrenheit, at the hottest point right above the lamp. With no air cooling, this quickly shot up to 96 degrees Celsius, or 204 degrees Fahrenheit. Ouch! That's a big heater in your grow room, and if you're growing crops that are sensitive to excess heat, this could kill the quality of your harvest. My input air is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I measured the air exiting the reflector at 91, so it's clear to me that this hood can do a great job of removing heat very close to its source, the lamp, without affecting its power output. Okay, that's it. Subscribe already! This is Everest, out.